Although the United States is a long-standing industrial power, it was slightly later in the development of armored weapons compared to several major European and American countries. There were no representative works during World War I, and slow exploration in related fields after the war. The Burley VUDB armored vehicle was an early attempt at armored vehicles in the United States. In 1928, the U.S. military also explored new armored warfare, and the Burley Company, which specialized in truck production, received an order to develop an armored vehicle for the U.S. Army Cavalry Reconnaissance Unit. The Burley Company developed the VUDB armored vehicle, with a truck-style engine compartment at the front of the vehicle, equipped with a straight-six liquid-cooled engine with a working capacity of 2,735 cubic centimeters, a carburetor, and an output power of 50 horsepower. The vehicle had an 8-speed forward and 2-speed reverse gearbox. The suspension was an independent leaf spring 4x4 wheel structure, with a slightly higher non-powered wheel pair in the middle of the vehicle to avoid touching the ground during off-road driving and serving as a spare tire. The armor protection of the vehicle consisted of rolled steel plates ranging from 3 to 7 mm, with a riveted structure. The lower half of the vehicle generally used vertically mounted armor plates, while the upper half considered the angle of inclination. The engine compartment's armor plate had hinged maintenance ports and louvers for heat dissipation. The driver could adjust the louvers using a lever on the driver's seat to facilitate daily heat dissipation or protect the engine during combat. On both sides of the louvers in the engine compartment, there were two front headlights protected by armored boxes, which could be opened and closed from inside the vehicle. The driver's cab and the combat compartment of the armored vehicle were integrated, with multiple hinged steel plate protected windows around the vehicle. Crew members could use light weapons to fire outward and could also install suitable machine guns. Typically, two FM 2429 machine guns were installed, with 4,000 rounds of ammunition stored inside the vehicle. Because it was a reconnaissance vehicle, the self-sufficiency of the armored vehicle was emphasized. Many storage boxes were installed on both sides of the vehicle, and a folding frame was installed at the rear to store minor items outside the vehicle and free up interior space. A total of 62 Burley VUDB armored vehicles were produced, with 50 purchased by the French military and 12 purchased by the Belgian police force. It's hard to imagine that the industrially strong France would purchase American armored vehicles. This batch of armored vehicles was all used in Morocco and participated in local combat operations. In 1939, 32 of them were still in service. The Burley VUDB armored vehicle weighed approximately 4.95 tons, was 4.5 meters long, 1.94 meters wide, and 2.15 meters high. Its maximum road speed was 53 km per hour, reverse speed was 12 km per hour, and the maximum driving range was 350 km. The crew consisted of 5 to 6 people. From the perspective of the 1930s, the technological level of the Burley VUDB armored vehicle was relatively low, belonging to the category of light armored vehicles. Its combat effectiveness was not much compared to some law enforcement armored vehicles in Europe during the same period. The batch of armored vehicles equipped by the French military did not receive good reviews. If there were alternatives, the French military would have replaced them. Some photos show that the upper armor of the vehicle was different, possibly due to modifications during use. The US military, which originally proposed the development plan, did not purchase these armored vehicles, and it seems that they did not meet the requirements of the U.S. military.